Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And we're going to do something with this wonderful rice paper that we made today. But what I wanted to show you first was the two cards that I made before. This one I did with glue. It's just tissue paper, plain tissue paper over uh, with glue on a piece of heavy cardstock. This was a uh, I Mod Podge this, and I want you to see how this one has curled. Even with the extra heavy-duty piece on the back, it has curled. Now, this is not too much of an issue. I'll stick it under a book, and it'll be fine. It'll flatten out. But this one has you know, barely curled at all. This one has curled quite a bit. So there is a difference between uh, the two of them and how they work. So I'm going to set those aside. I'd also like to thank you all for your comments on Monday's video. It was, it's was it been absolutely wonderful to have the conversations with you guys. I'm really enjoying them quite a bit. So we're going to take a look at this paper today, and I wanted to show you the difference. This is the rice paper. Can you see? I think I'm going to hold it up so that I think you can see the um, pattern that comes through the the clear part this is because this basically has now gone clear let me show you with this is just regular tissue paper and it comes through a little bit but not nearly as much if I put my hand underneath it you can see it some let me do it side by side here and I think you can see the difference a little bit better I hope it's showing up on camera but you can see so much more through the the faux rice paper. Come on, out straight. There we go. See how much more you can see of the stripes than you can here? It really comes through much better. So what I'm going to do today, I'm gonna to move all of my other large pieces out of the way. I'm gonna, we're gonna make a cover. And I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to glue it down onto here. Now I hear you I hear you. You're saying, but that's a 12 by 12 and your journals are not 12 by 12. Your journals are eight and a half by you use it eight and a half by 11. Why are you using such a big piece? Well, I will show you why as we go along here. Now I did have I would love to be able to put it right to here, but I went and kind of goofed that part up. When I was taking it off, I ripped it a little bit. So I will use this spot because what that will do is it still gives me all of this to play with for something else. But yes, I am going to cover this whole thing with this rice paper and I'm going to do it in sections because I don't want my glue to dry on me. I'm also going to wrap it around a little bit so that I have a little bit more space. Um, and again, you'll see why in a minute. This is going to require a huge amount of my glue stick. And I am going to actually add a little bit of Fabri-Tac just around the outside. And that's just to make sure that it does not come off. I want it to make sure that we are there. Okay. Now you notice I'm only doing half at a time. That's There's a reason for that. Okay. I want a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom, and some on the inside. Okay. So I'm going to glue that part down. And since the glue and it's wrink, it's already wrinkled. It's maybe wrinkle. It may wrinkle a little more. I'm okay with that. And this is textured paper. This stripe does have a texture to it. The gold is raised. I want to make sure I have. Yeah, I'm. That middle part is actually getting a little bit extra glue, and that's okay. That's where the spine is. 
Um, this would probably be easier with a fatter glue stick. I wouldn't have to go over it quite so much, perhaps with a fatter glue stick, but don't have a flatter glue or wider glue stick. Flatter glue stick. They're all flat. All right, so we're just coming along here with a bead. So my watch hours are up. I thank you again for that as well. You guys have really helped a lot getting those watch watch hours up. Um, I still have a little bit of ways to go, but we're getting there. Okay, so now I'm going to smooth all this out. I'm only hand smoothing it because I don't want to go over it with a card. I don't want to risk ripping anything. And I am making sure I don't have any additional wrinkles or bubbles in it. I don't want any bubbles. Okay, I'm going to come up along the side here now. Again, I'm leaving a little bit of a margin, not much, maybe an inch. And I'm going to do, we've, we've, we've seen this before, we've done this a lot. I'm just going to kind of come and turn my edge, my corners a little bit. While that dries, what's nice about the using the purple glue, the disappearing purple, is then I know when it's dry because it's gone. I don't see purple anymore. All right, and now I'm going to flip it over. It's just white on the back. That's okay. And I'm going to just use. I just threw my glue stick in there. I'm going to use my glue stick cover this over. Now could I sew it? Absolutely at this point I could but I don't think I want that um, I don't think I want that look on this one. This will be a nature journal and I'm not going to worry if I don't have it all completely down. You'll see why again in a minute. But I am covering this with the rice paper. Obviously, my table is slightly tilted because my glue stick keeps rolling down. Stick it up there and then it won't come down on me. All right. Because now what I want to do, why am I doing this this way? Let me close up my glue stick. And this is where I'm going to need my ruler. I want it to be eight and a half inches tall. And I'm using my mat here with its squares on it to make sure that I am square. I want it to be eight and a half. Actually, I think I want it to be eight and three quarters tall because I want this is my cover, so I want it slightly larger. I'm going to bend that there. I'm going to come over here to eight and three quarters. And I'm going to bend that there. Just a little bend. And then I'm going to flip this up. There we go. Ah, oh, this is coming nicely. And so now when I open it up, I will have pockets on the inside. But I got all this stuff, so I need to fix that. And that's easy because I have another 12 by 12 sheet that I'm going to put on the inside. And again, not so much measuring as marking. I know where I want to cut it. And let me grab my, sorry, I hit the camera. I'll check it here in a second and make sure that I have it right. I goofed you way up, didn't I, when I brought that down? Okay. I think that gets us a little bit leveler, leveler, more level. Yeah, okay, we're back. Sorry about that. 
Okay, I'm going to cut off that piece. I'll save that piece for something else in the journal. Move that up out of my way. And I'm going to put this in here. Now, question becomes, do I want it to go right to the edges, which I think I do, but when I bend it, it's going to move. Is it going to move? Well, I think we're going to be okay. All right. Now for this, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because I don't want this to, I don't want it to move. I don't want it to go anywhere. I don't want it to, I want to make sure that it stays put. And I've got a little bit of a, here we go. There we go. Now we've got glue coming out. So I'm going to come all the way around the edge because I want to make sure it stays put. Okay. And because I want this to be a whole cover, I mean, it, it's going to cover this whole page. I'm going to go ahead and put a glue line down here. This is not a pocket. I could make it a pocket. I don't want to. I want this to be a, a strong cover. Come on. I'm just having a terrible time getting my glue to come out today. Okay. Now it's kind of lumpy the way I've got it coming out this way. So I'm going to take my hotel card. I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. Okay, we'll set that over here. And then my okay. I'm going to line you up and press you down. See, it's coming. It's coming. I'm going to set this over here, get that out of my way. Am I still in camera? Yep. Okay, and then I want to fold up my... Now, I could have covered the, the pockets as well, but I... Why bother? I'd rather have it this way, and that way I have a green that matches the inside for a pocket somewhere else. I'm not bothering to glue the center because eventually that's going to get sewn. Okay, here we go. And now we're going to take it and bend it over. And push it down. There we go. Now, with the corners, um, I can put... Um, corner pieces, metal corners on it. I could do washi along the side. I could do all sorts of things. But wasn't that a quick and easy cover? How easy that was. Put a little lace over here, anything I want. And there I have a beautiful piece for my... Uh, I'm going to just quick grab my bone fold here. Maybe. It's... Can't get my fingers on it. There we go. I am going to use a bone folder rather than the sharper edge of the piece just to kind of bring this all down and make that a nice cover. So there we go. One cover made very easily. Some decoration, put a signature in there, and we're good to go. Now I have these pieces left over. Uh, well, this piece was just one that I took, because I didn't know when I was first starting this if I wanted the lighter color on the inside or the darker color. And I decided the darker color, and I thought, well, that's okay. We'll keep this piece out, and we will save that. I will tell you that those came from the Butterfly Study, Etude de Pepio. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 Recollections sheet. And there are all sorts of really cool pieces in here, but I just wanted the solids. 
and the stripes. So there we go. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the like button to let YouTube know that you uh, like them. And I will tell you that uh, there are there's going to be a little bit of a change up to the schedule for the end of September and early October. So make sure you click that bell so you get notifications as to when the next video comes out. So I am going to have to change. I'm going to be choosing to change some things up for a couple of well for two weeks. And then we'll, uh, you'll find out about it later. I'll tell you more about it later. But just click that bell so you get those notifications. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Have you ever made this kind of paper or this kind of cover? I'm going to leave it open for a little bit because it's a little bit tacky up here where I have a, a little bit of glue that came out. So I'm going to leave it open for a little bit, let it dry, and we'll move on. All right, till later, this is Cindy signing off.